Erica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, and I am here today with a special edition of my floss tube, and this is going to be a whip parade. In addition to the whip parade, I wanted to add two finishes. One is fully finished that I keep meaning to show you on my regular videos, and I have forgotten every time. And I also have a finish from my world of my world so sweet by Sandy Spencer that I wanted to share with you all on here before I went to go find a frame for it. I also wanted to share with you my friend stitch uh, box content, which I participated in friend stitch Halloween pop up today, and it was really fun. It was hosted by um, Bent Creek and heart and hand and then they had an additional designer with them today Amy Brecken from Amy Brecken designs and her design was adorable along with the other ones as well I have always admired her designs and I have never stitched any of them so of course that sent me down a rabbit hole which I'm sure no one is surprised but um, I'm excited to look at some of her other charts as well so let me go ahead and get started. And today is August 5th, Saturday, and I am filming the whip parade that I had promised. Um, so I will go ahead and get started with the fully finished. So the first one was My Home Sweet Home by Brenda Gervais. And I've already shown you the finish, but I had, hadn't shown the full finished yet. And this was a kit. This is the front. It has a little bow at the top and the... Um, star fabric on the back and I finished this with it I came as a or I bought it as a kit from Michelle at Farm Girl Dry Goods so everything came with it including the rickrack and I've had this out and I think I'm going to leave this out all the time I know it has an American flag but I feel like it's pretty every day so I have it on a display which I have um, some pictures of that in my intro uh, underneath or on my fireplace. So I just love this so much. It's so cute. And my second fully finish is World So Sweet. And this was by Sandy Spencer. And you can purchase this chart on the Thread Milk Designs website. And this is my finish. I stitched this on, I believe this is uh, r and Winter Brew. And I used m some of the called for and then some colors I picked my own. And I want to frame it similar to how she did, which was a chunky frame. It's not that big of a design, but I just think something big and chunky would be really cute with this. And then this will also go uh, underneath of our, like on the hearth of my fireplace. And I cannot wait to get this framed and put out because it's just so darn cute. And I cannot wait for her to design some more charts. So once those come out, I will be purchasing and stitching them. Okay, let me show you what I got for my friend stitch. And then I'm going to, to do my whip parade, I am going to switch the camera view so that it will be facing down. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the projects um, easier that way. I have ironed everything. And I also want, will be sharing um, information about it. So before I do that, this was the, when you opened the box for friend stitch, this was the bag that you got. Just so cute. It had these pins in the bag. So I put those on there. And then it had all the stuff inside of the bag. So the first thing, this was the main chart, which was called Happy Halloween. And it came with all of the floss. And you could also purchase the linen to go with it, which I did purchase it. And it is 32 Stormy Night Vintage Linen. 
and I am going to stitch this, but I have decided to stitch it on 36 count platinum by Weeks Dye Works. So I, I'll do find something else to do with the, the other linen, but I just thought I wanted a little bit smaller. And then this is the design by Amy and it's so cute. And it also came with uh, linen and then all this, the main design, this design, and then there's one more. They all use the same color palette. So they give you full skeins of classic color works and it should, as long as you stitch on the count they stitched on or a smaller count. So in my case, I'm gonna use 36 count. It will be enough floss to do all of the designs. So this was the other design. This is called um, Crow. So cute. And it is finished in a hoop. And so they give you the hoop to finish it in. And then they give you this piece of um, wood to cut. And it's to cover up. Once you have it in the hoop, you cover the back with this, which I thought was so clever. And that all came, that was all in this cute little bag. And there's a couple specialty stitches with that. So they show you how to do the specialty stitches. And then we got this um, pad of paper and there was some candy and some other little toys and stuff in the bag. But I just wanted to go ahead and share this with you and um, they did announce and I of course have already forgotten the dates but I'm sure they'll be announcing it soon um, next year in September they will have another friend stitch and that friend stitch will be their five year anniversary and um, so be on the lookout for information about when to sign up and all that Excuse me. Of course the sneezes come. Um, so look out for information about that. There is also another Friends Stitch event coming up in October, which is all about stitching, and I am participating in that as well. But that has already been sold and sold out. So you're not able to sign up for that. Um, but Ann and Pat from r, &R will be um, on that call as well, which I'm very excited to, um, be a part of that. All right. So without any further ado, um, I did want to preface this with a couple different things and I'm trying to look at all my notes. Um, so first thing is, like I said, I'm going to turn, do a different camera view. If you have any questions about any of the whips that I'm talking about, if I don't remember the fabric or don't have it written down or um, the floss or any questions about it, and uh, leave them in the comments and I'm happy to go back and answer. I will also say everything I'm pretty sure is either stitched on 36 or 40 count and I stitch one floss thread over two linen threads. Um, let's see, what else did I want to say? I'm trying to look at my notes. Okay, um, I, while I'm talking about the whips, um, so how I came up with what I'm going to show is I went through, well, first I was organizing my craft room. And as I was organizing by designer and going through everything, I picked out um, a certain number, which kind of started growing, <laughs> um, of projects that I had started. And I do have a bag of some that I haven't started, but they're on my short list of I want to cut potentially start them this year still. Um, I was starting a lot of things in July and that's what kind of spurred this whole idea on. So I went and picked out um, some of my whips 
and put them in a few baskets. And those are the whips that I would like to try to focus on picking from, from now, which is the beginning of August until the end of the year. This is not saying that I cannot pick anything else. I'm also not saying that I can't start anything else. I just, I would like to, if I am going to start something that's not pulled or something new, it's something that I want to start immediately. Um, I have a couple, I have like a large sampler that I am starting with Lauren from the New Hampshire Stitcher. She's doing a stitch along starting September 1st. Um, my birthday's in September, so I have a birthday start and I'll share that. I also um, am in the Homespun Needlework Facebook group and I got the latest exclusive which is by the Scarlet House, and I do want to start that. Probably I'll start that for Sampler September, if it, as long as it's here before then. Um, but besides that, I really, I'm trying to, I was trying to narrow things down so that I didn't have, it wasn't so overwhelming when I went to choose what I wanted to work on. And then I also have realized that I'm not good when I say, you can't do this. You have to do this. So I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and then I also, I just kind of in the past couple of weeks as I've been looking and even today when I was ironing all this stuff, I just really feel content with kind of where I'm at, what I have. Um, I do still see things that I love and, and want to buy and that's fine too. I, um, I just, I'm trying to think of how I want to say this. Um, I just love the things that I have. Oh, I know I was, as I was getting organized, I, it was making it easier to find stuff. And I think that helped me to figure out kind of what I wanted to work on because I, before I organized my things, things were just kind of everywhere. And I didn't know where this was here, this, and I felt like kind of in chaos. And so I like to have some type of an organization, which is how this kind of all came to be. Um, so that's kind of my plan. It's loose and fluid, but it is somewhat of a plan. So from all of these that you see today, these are the things that you will be seeing on my floss tubes um, from now until the end of the year. Um, so. That is my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, so let me switch the camera and I will start with my whip parade. All right, so this is the first whip, which is hands-on design for Seasons Folk. And this is the design for the fall retreat hosted by Chantel at 141 Design Company, which is the pep rally. And this is the retreat design. And you'll notice that I have left off this portion at the top. I am not going to be stitching that. So this is where I started. I am stitching this on the called for, which is 32 count driftwood by Fabrics by Stephanie. So since this is a 32 count, I am using two floss threads over one, I'm sorry, over two linen threads. So this is an exception to what I originally said about everything's on 36 and 40. And I do have one other project on 32, but you'll see in a minute that I'm using one thread because of the type of thread I'm using. So that is my first whip. My second whip, oops, sorry is My Heart Can Rest by Blackbird Designs. I just love this. I am using most of the called for floss and if I'm not using the called for, then I am using something that is close. And this is on 36 count Winter Brew by r and &R. And the colors are just beautiful. And for the sake of time and ironing and I was stacking everything, I did not 
pull out the threads, but most of them I know. A few I have changed and I will show. I can pull those out if I know I changed them a lot. This is my next whip, which is Flower Pot Roll Up by Lottie Da. This is also on 32 count, but this is with NPI silk and it's stated in the chart to use one strand of NPI and I think that the coverage on this is great. This is Weeks Dye Works Gray and I cannot wait to get it done and make this. I was reading the directions the other night and I think it'll be really fun and it'll be a great addition to all of my stitching stuff, which is one of the reasons I wanted to stitch that. My next whip is Sing a Song of Seasons by Blackbird Designs. And I am going to stitch the whole series on whichever the called for linen it is. So depending on the, um, the chart, it'll tell you what. And this is 36 count Wren by Picture This Plus. And this is all of the called for colors. And as you can tell, I haven't got very far, but it is a start, so it as a whip. I also, in showing the whips, I, all, I am of the mindset that if I own the chart, I don't see the difference in if it is sitting in my bins or if it started as a whip because I'm, I own the threads and I own all the stuff, so I don't, it's, all the same to me. Um, the next one is Blessed B. This is by Brenda Gervais. And this is on 36 count Milk and Honey by Fiber on a Whim. Using similar colors, but they're not the same. And these were somewhat inspired from Liz with Antique Needleworkers. Liz and Shelly, but Liz is the one who is stitching this. And, um, sent me what her colors were or what she was started using. So I kind of just went off of that. My next whip is the Tyndall sister samplers and I'm doing Elizabeth, which is this one. And this is on 32 count uh, flax by Zweigart, but this is using the Jenny Thompson thread and the flower thread and you use one strand on this. And so even though it is 32 count, I'm just using the one strand. And you can see that the coverage of the flower thread is as you as if you were using two strands. So I really like the coverage. I love the colors. It's fun and something different. And this was my August um, cross stitch camp with Sherry from Colorado Cross Stitcher. Okay, this one is a large one and I did recently, sh some of these I recently showed, um, but this is At Home by Brenda Gervais. And there is a hashtag for this and it's hashtag At Home Sal. And a lot of people are stitching this. And I have, let me put it on the board and show you guys. So this is the top and I have gotten all the way down, oops, ah, <laughs> hitting the camera thing, um, to the bottom border. And I had up here, I snaked over to get to the urn to get to the roof and then I want to start working on the house. And like I mentioned in my previous video, Elizabeth from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch, she started working on some of the bricks and it looks so much fun. So I really wanna get to that so I can be working on the house. But I love this so much. And this is on, it's a color in cotton and it was a piece that I don't know, I'll have to put it um, in the, comments if you are interested. I forget what um, linen this is, but it is a 36 count. So love that. And if 
you have watched me, you know I love Brenda Gervais. So you can tell from all my whips when I get through these. And Plum Street. You'll be able to tell the ones that are my favorite because that's kind of what I've picked out. Um, this is Carolyn Carter by Annie from The Proper Stitcher. And I, she is a new designer and I wanted to stitch this one. And there is a hashtag and I will put it along the bottom of this. I forget what it is, but um, Alicia from the Fanciful Flamingo and Melissa who is M. Lore. And she has a floss tube too. And I'll put her floss tube in the description box because, oh, Stitching with Mel. Um, they are hosting a sale for Annie's charts, and I believe it's hashtag A or P S or A T New Beginnings. I cannot remember, but I'll put it below, like I said. This is 36 count winter brew, and I am using my own colors similar to the picture. Um, but I pulled silks from my stash and the fabric was from my stash. So I'm excited to get back to this. I don't think that will take very long and I wanna get this framed too and put up. The next, this is a favorite as well. Who are we kidding? They're all favorites. Um, Grace Doth Abound. And I told the story of how I started stitching this one recently. I saw Anne from 1803 Ohio Farm Baskets stitching it. And I absolutely loved her picture. And I pulled it right out and had all of the materials and got started. So this is where I am on this. This is the called for linen, which is 36 count baked clay by Fox and Rabbit, and I am using all of the called for floss. And I absolutely, my most favorite part, I think, is the checkerboard roof. I love checkerboards. Checkerboard houses, checkerboard roofs. I don't know what it is, but it's my favorite. This was a January 1st start for me. This is the Maker and Mender by Brenda Gervais. And this, let me pull out my project bag because I don't remember what I'm stitching this on. Let's see. Sorry for the pause. I believe it is, um, uh, of course I didn't write down. I'm pretty sure it's cream. It's either cream and sugar or it is, um, a fox and rabbit, whatever their very light one is. I cannot remember, but I, I can figure it out later if you're interested, but I did, if you see, I did brighten up the bird. Um, the greens, I think I changed them to brighten them up a little bit. I know, well, obviously this is brown. This is blue. <laughs> I changed the words to a different color. 926, I'm pretty sure from, this is a long time since I've done this chart, which is why I'm drawing a blank. Yes, 926 are the words from DMC, but I would like to get back to this and get this finished. I just, I need to finish the words and then there's very little at the top. And then I do have all these motif, but they're small motifs. So I think if I set my mind to it, I could get it done. But it's just so pretty and so many people who started it have finished it. And this was came when... I attended the Jingle Ball, which the signups for that should be coming up soon as well. Uh, we, the group I was in the last night, we decided to start this as a stitch along. And so many people have finished it, but I, of course, have not. So I really want to get back to that. 
And I now am very curious what... I don't remember what linen that was. So I'll have to figure that out. This was, or this is, A Witch in Her Garden, again, by Brenda Gervais. This was a kit I purchased from Farm Girl Dry Goods. This is, oh, it's on the called for fabric, which is 36 count vintage country mocha with all the called for colors. Again, many people have finished this. I have all of the things to finish it into the drum and as the pumpkin, but I just have to finish stitching it. So I would like to get, well, all of these, I'm showing them to you because I want to get them done. This is Butternut House Pin Keep by Stacy Nash. And this is on a piece of 36 count vellum by Picture This Plus. And I am using the called for colors. And I don't, what? Oh, it says it's stitched on Patriot's Brew, which is a definitely darker than the picture. So that's why I chose um, vellum because I felt like it looked more like the picture. And the picture is what sold me. And this one I started last year. So I would like to get back to this. And it's another, it's a Stacy Nash pin keep, which truthfully, this thing will be giant, even though I am stitching it on 36 count, because there's still a whole, there's an alphabet up here, and there's still stuff down here. So, and I think this is a, let's see, it's a two inch border on either side so it's gonna be pretty big but it's so pretty and when I chose what I wanted to be working on I tried to choose a variety of fall because I knew I was going into the fall season Christmas because Christmas would come also and then just some generic samplers so you'll see there's a variety of all of them this is I Love Fall Most of All by Brenda Gervais. And this is not the called for linen. This is 36 Count Old Mushroom by XJU Designs. And if I get back to this again, I could get this done and sitting out for fall. So this will probably be higher on the priority list. I do kind of feel like right now, it being August, it's kind of like a limbo month. You could be stitching bees and sunflowers, but I I do have some bee things, but I really just haven't been in the mood necessarily to be all bees. So I've been tending to go towards more of the samplers. But once we get into September and October, I do feel like probably more October, I'll be feeling the fall vibes and wanting to stitch on more of these fall pieces. Um, fall is my favorite season, but I do feel like I want to be more in the season to stitch on the pieces. This is Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs, and I started this last year with Carrie and Sarah, handmade by Sarah W. and Carrie from Tiger Lily Designs. They were doing a sal, and it's hashtag friends giving sal. And I started along with them. I started over on the house, and this is on 36 count millstone, which is the same fabric that Carrie and I think Sarah is using, but I have the linen and they're using the Ada. And this, I don't have very much done, but this has some happy memories because I took this with me to work on over Thanksgiving last year and we had gone to Kentucky for Thanksgiving. So this will remind me of our long car ride to Kentucky. <laughs> so I know other people have talked about stitching, having memories of when and where you've stitched things and that is definitely a trait I have. 
The next one is Every Opening Flower by Brenda Gervais. And I had this kitted by Dying to Stitch. So it is the called for linen and floss, which is 36 count winter brew by R&R. &R. And this is where I am. I don't think I can get the whole thing. So I have a lot done. I kind of got stalled and put it away because I wanted to move over to the flowers. And for whatever reason, I didn't have a color or I don't remember what happened, but this was my next piece to tackle. And then I felt like the rest of it was kind of fill in. This is all pretty much fill in. And then over here, filling in some pieces. And then obviously on the border, I need to put the berries. But once I got the flower pot done, I feel like it would go pretty fast. So this also might be one I pick up and try to get finished pretty soon but we'll see and while i'm switching projects i also wanted to mention that i do use an app sometimes and it is called spin the wheel and you can plug in all of your projects into the app and it will you can spin it it's like a wheel and it will choose what you are going to work on. So I do have my projects put in there and I will use it from time to time. I don't necessarily always use it, but if I really can't decide or for whatever reason I wanna use it, I have them all in there. So these are all of these projects are currently in my wheel to choose from. All right, this is, as I'm doing this, I'm finding stuff on my linen. Um, this is by Fox and Rabbit, Dorothy Sampler, and Carrie from Tiger Lily Designs started this on Mother's Day, and I had this from Market and had been wanting to start it, and when she said she was starting it, I thought, well, what better time to start it than now? So I am using, again, same fabric as Carrie, it's Old North Church by um, Legacy Fiber Arts, except for she is using the Ada and I am using the linen. And this is my extremely tiny start on this. I was pulling this out and I'm like, well, I don't even know where I started. But I started right here in the middle. I don't even know which one it's. You know what? I think I have it upside down. <laughs> That's even more funny. I don't know. Upside down or not. It, I think it's this right here. So it goes down. But anyway, it's not very much of a start. I'll figure it out once I pull the chart back out. But this is one I keep seeing Carrie working on it. And it's making me want to pull it out. So I put this in the pile. This is large and this is not getting done by the end of the year, but every stitch counts and also every, a stitch is a stitch, no matter if it's gets, or stitching time is stitching time, I guess is what I wanna say. You can stitch a little on this, a little on this, or you can stitch solely on one piece, and it, but it's all the same amount, or it's all the same time. It just depends on what, kind of what how you look at your time all right Florence Law by Hands Across the Sea I wanted to have a monochromatic piece going and I have this one is going and then I have another one that I still I want to start as well I haven't pulled it out yet I have all the parts to start it but I haven't and this is where I am. This is on 36 Count Legacy by Picture This Plus. And this is using a Vicki Clayton Blue that I had. And I just started up in the left hand with the alphabet and started going over. So I enjoy having this as just a, I don't wanna think, I just wanna put a few stitches in.
This is another one that I love, 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 love. But I haven't gotten very far. So this is This Happy Morning by Plum Street Samplers. And this was an exclusive from a retreat for a while and then it came out. And I I do love the on the neutral color, but something about it on this dark fabric just blows me away. And so I kept going back and forth because I was having a hard time once I picked this up stitching on the dark fabric, but I am just, I am convinced I am figuring it out. So this is 36 count. Oh, I'm sorry. This is actually 32 count night sky by fiber on a whim. So let me just look. I am using two threads over two. So I just have a small start up here at the top. This is a dark blue linen. It's called Night Sky. It was stitched on um, Black Swan by Fox and Rabbit. And when I got my Black Swan, I felt like it was a little bit purpley. And maybe that is the coloring. Like it had purple undertones. Um... Yeah, it does. Oh, it's on a different page. It tells you the um, the black, but it is black swan. So I don't, I like this, but I I'm not that invested on it. I want to do it on the dark. I might still switch to a thirty six count, but I haven't decided yet. Oh, and another thing I'm thinking is I and I mentioned this before. I saw somebody they had done it on. I don't. I think the dark. Down here, instead of filling in the whole grass, they just stitched the trees. And I thought that was smart. And I thought it looked good. So I might do that. I haven't not quite decided. But like I said, I don't, I might switch the fabric still because I'm not that far. And the other thing about this fabric that I'm unsure about is the margin is super tight. Because you can, or I could only find fiber on a, it was, let me rephrase this. It was very hard for me to find fiber on a whim where I could get it cut to whatever size I wanted. I was only finding it like this color I was looking for at Fat Quarter Shop as a fat quarter. And the fat quarter is a teeny tiny bit too small. So I might actually take this with me to I'm going to uh, Brick City to the retreat next Saturday. And I might take this and see if I can find a, a dark fabric and get it cut to the right size where I have more of a margin. Because that's also kind of what stopped me from working more on it is because I didn't wanna get too far and then my border was not big enough. All right, this one is Christmas in July by Plum Street Samplers. Again, another Plum Street. This is all the called for floss on the called for linen, which is 36 count salt bush by Fox and Rabbit. And it is so pretty. And that's a great one to take to a retreat where you're filling in the house. And I have mentioned that before as well. This is a classic Christmas and this is a very teeny tiny start. <laughs> but I started, this is 36 count platinum by Zweigart. And I just have a little start. I'm using colors that are similar to the called for. But I did choose some over dyed floss. Um, they're very close to what it's called for. And as I get more done and pull this out, I will share more of the floss colors. And this one, this was from Market. And this is another of my favorites that I really want to get back to because I just love it. This is Channing Street by Annie B's Folk Art. And I so pretty. 
I just love everything about it. This is on 36 count boardwalk by color and cotton using all of the called for floss. And this is one that I for sure want to get back to and I want to get this done before the end of the year. So I'm I'm trying to figure out for September I'm thinking about doing rotating through some of my bigger samplers and this will be one of the samplers I put in sampler September if I decide to do it that way, which is what I did last year, I believe. Actually, I don't remember. But I, I would like to do that because I really want to get that done. And I don't know if five days will be enough, but I could get much further then. This is Witch's Night Out by Brenda Gervais. And this is on 36 Count Weathered by Atomic Ranch. So cute. Oh, and another thing, as I was picking these projects that I wanted to be working on, I tried to also go through and pick out a variety. Sorry for hitting the camera. Um, I wanted to pick out a variety of smalls and larger. So like Witch's Night Out is a small. There's a, some smalls thrown in so that if I want to get something completely finished, I can work on that. And then some of the bigger pieces, it'll just be to put progress in. This is a new chart from Hands On Design and Summer House Stitchworks between friends. And I'm stitching the summer sampler on the front. And this is my start. This is, so I should not have said they're all on 36 and 40 because this is on 32 blacks using two floss threads over two linen threads. But I'm, I love this one as well. This is from last year. Some of these other ones are from last year. And I'm stitching this, which I believe is called Home for the Holidays. Oops, there it is. Yep, it's called Home for the Holidays. And I did choose my own colors. So I will, when I get back to this, I will have to share this on my floss tube. Um, these are color and cotton colors that I picked. So my bird is more of a red bird and it's going to be filled in with some pink, I believe, like a lighter red pinkish. And the house, I don't remember even what I pulled, but this is what I am stitching. This is um, 36 count platinum by Zweigart as well. Part of that piece the other Christmas one was on. So I want to get this done this year for sure. This is another piece I started last year. This is Santa Stops Here by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And I was able to get the whole border done. And I I think the this is on 36 count. Um, oh, what is it called? R&R &R Winter Brew. Um, but I think I just kind of stalled out on Christmas was over and I was kind of done stitching this. So this is one I'd like to also get done. This house reminds me a lot of the um, one for at home, the brick. So it will be fun. But I feel like I will want to stitch this when it gets closer to Christmas. So hopefully I can get that done. Also, Chrissy Finally a Farm Girl and Linda Stitchy Linda have a hashtag. And other people have joined in as well. On Sundays, they stitch with thy needle and thread and it's the hashtag is Sundays Sunday with my needle and so some of these Brenda Gervais ones I'm going to try to pull out and work out work on them on Sundays so that I can make some progress there so I, I know 
at least one day a week I'm working on my Brenda Gervais. This is the next one, which is Plum Street Samplers American Welcome. And this was an exclusive to the Farm Girl Dry Goods Retreat this year. And I am in the Patreon, Michelle Rudy's Patreon, and was able to get a kit. This is all the called for linen floss everything. And I am so close to being finished. But again, I just, I was did all of this and then I got to the water and I knew it was a lot of fill-in and I just was not in the fill-in mood. So when I get back to this, I will work on it and I will finish it. I have all of this down here to finish the house and then there's a few little motifs here and there and it'll be done. So again, once I get back to it and feel like working on it again, it'll be a finish at that point. But I got this far and I'm excited to get it on the wall, but I just kind of lost my momentum um, stitching it. And that's okay. Sometimes that happens, but it'll be fun when it gets finished. And I will hang this on my wall all the time. The next one is another Brenda Gervais. This is Winter Rose Manor, and this is on 36 count Milk and Honey by Fiber on a Whim. And I am using most of the called for colors. And I have most, all of the border, except for I didn't, I wasn't able to get this part of the border in. And then I started over here on the fence because I wanted to get to the house again to have to fill in, but this is another one that once the season comes, I will want to work on, but I, the season was over and I was kind of done stitching winter and Christmas, and so I put it away. But I do want to get this back out, as I've said, and get more done on it. My next piece, which is another favorite designer, is Stacy Nash. And this is Gathering the Green Sampler. And this I downloaded as a PDF from her Etsy shop. So the picture isn't that great. But this one, I changed. I changed the colors, but I went more off of what I thought the picture looked like. Because when I pulled the called for, they were not what I was envisioning it was going to be looking like. And this linen, I do not remember what linen this is. I want to say it's a fox and rabbit linen. Um, but again, I'll have to look this up when I talk, when I start stitching it again and talk about it on my floss tube. Um, but I know that I'm pretty sure this is licorice red, blushing beauty. Um, I'm not sure on the green if I did what she called for, which was Oscar. I think I did. But I love this piece, and this is one that when I get going on it, I feel like I'll get motivated to get it finished. It's so pretty. And it will be really pretty framed. And this is, this I really got inspired to stitch from Liz, from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. And so this is, that's the J, which is about right here. So I still have a decent amount left. And the most stitching I think is at the alphabet. And then obviously the house. But this is like a lot of other samplers it's a lot of filling in but this is another one that I would love to get done so I have lots of Christmas stitching but that's another thing that I feel like happens to me so I kind of would like next year to try to do more having Christmas throughout the whole year because I find that when Christmas comes, I'm so busy, it's hard for me to get the Christmas stuff stitched. So that's why I also think I have a lot of Christmas whips 
because the Christmas stitching pulls me in, but then I run out of time. So I need to figure out a better method to getting some of those done um, because stitching just during Christmas doesn't really get anything accomplished. Um, this is the next one. This is Sally Spencer by Birds of a Feather, and this is out of print. Um, this is 28 count. Um, Creme Brulee by R&R, &R, and this was a random piece. I don't even know where it came from um, that I found, and I thought, well, this would be really fun to be on something really big. So it's really easy to stitch. I just kind of do some and then I put it away. But if I could get, again, any of these, if I could get the momentum, I could probably get them done. But there are a lot of squirrels and there's a lot of charts and I just have a hard time focusing. But that's okay because it's making me happy stitching all of the things and that's what the hobby's about. So I'm using all the called for colors and I love this and I cannot wait to get this done and get this up. And the best part is it says sooner begun, sooner done. So I feel like this is a sign saying start all the things. <laughs> this is another one. I don't have a lot done. But I, oh, I have one X. <laughs> so it's a whip. But I am doing all of the 12 Days of Christmas from Liz Matthews. Hello from Liz Matthews. She's on day nine, I think, which will come out later sometime this year. And I have one of them is more done than this. And if I can find the bag... I can show you. This is the one I was working on, which I have one stitch right here. <laughs> and this is on my scroll frame by Terry with Primrose Scroll Works. And it's all hand painted. She also painted me a needle minder. This is on, this is 40 count fog. So this one I'm doing as the sampler, but let me pull out. I do have another one that's further done. I should have pulled that out too. Um, that is on a different fabric. And I'm doing, this is the fourth day. And I think this is milk and honey. This is where I am on this one. And I, so I'm doing, some of them are going to be trees. And some of them are going to be the sampler. And then I want to have some of them framed and some of them as trees, like I said, and intermix them on my mantle. Now I have to get them all stitched to make this come to life, but I felt like it was, it would be a really cool display at Christmas. So I need to get going on this. Otherwise I will never get this done, but I have a, a lot of time. <laughs> oh, also Terry, I'm sorry, not Terry, Tracy, Terry's somebody else, Tracy Devlin from Primrose Scroll Works, um, this is to go on your floss, and I'll link their shop below if you're interested in the um, squirrel rods, but they're really, really nice. And Tracy is very nice and easy to work with. All right, this one is a start, but I think I'm going to change my fabric. So this is Wisdom by Teresa Kogut, and I have a small start up here, but I pulled out, and of course I don't know where it went, Another piece of fabric that I think I'm going to switch to that's a little bit darker. Um, this is Sand by Picture This Plus, but the other piece I pulled out, I like. It's a little more pinky and a little bit darker. So I think it'll look good with this. But I love 
the pinks and the flowers and uh, Teresa is another favorite designer. This is the next one, which is What Remains. This was my Mother's Day start. And I did change all the colors, most all the colors. And this is where I've gotten. This is 36 count Thornfield by Needle and Flax. And I, oh, that's because of birth. I'm like, why is there no stitches there? I absolutely love this and want to get back to stitching this as well. F ironing all my projects and getting them ready really <laughs> made me want to stitch on everything. I'm like, oh, I remember that. Oh, I want to do that. So I feel like I'll be having to use the wheel to pick because I won't be able to decide. This is the Sunnyside Sampler by Drawn Thread, and there's a lot of people doing this as a stitch along, but I, along with my friend Felicia, who is Floss and Blocks on at, uh, Instagram and Etsy, she, both of us started this. We ordered the kit from the Drawn Thread, and we're doing our own little stitch along. I started all the way over here, and I just got going to town on the alphabet and then I put in a, a little bit of the house because I wanted to start in the middle so that's where I started here and came down and then got to the alphabet so my next whip is this I know by Plum Street Samplers and if you have been following me, you will know I finished earlier this year. This is the day by Plum Street. And so I wanted to get this done and put this on the wall with it. And I, depending on the Plum Street finishes I have, I'm considering doing like a Plum Street wall and putting them all up on there. Because I do have quite a few Plum Streets I'm working on and that I really want to get framed and put up. So this is on the called for fabric, which is 36 count boardwalk by color and cotton using all the called for threads. So pretty. This is another good fill in project for a retreat. This was another one I wanted to start. This came out at market and I'm stitching the long one right here, which is called Thinking of Thee. And I am stitching it with the Victorian Victoria Clayton Silk Thread Pack. And this, this pillow was stitched on 32 count, which is what I'm stitching this on. This is 32 count milk and honey with one strand of floss. And it's meant to look old and faded and that is exactly how I feel like it's looking. I do like it but I'm used to stitching on 32 count with two threads so it is a little bit thin but I'm trusting the process and just continuing with the one strand but this is a long term. I just have a tiny start so I don't see this getting finished anytime soon but it's pretty. The next one is, this is a little bit of spring by Blackbird Designs. And this was, or this is an exclusive from the, I forget what the club is called, Sampler Club, I think with dying to stitch and this was the first installment and this is on 36 count espresso by r and r and i'm using all the called for floss which is a really really pretty palette but i was able to get the top border done and then i moved down um because i wanted to get some of the fun stuff down here and not be stitching all the alphabet for a long time so i came down here to get working on some of these flowers which is why I brought 
the border down and I kind of wanted to see where the bottom of the piece was going to be. So another beautiful piece. This is Butternut Tavern by Stacy Nash. And this is on 36 count Tefra by Cedar River Linen. And I am using all of the called for colors. I have a small start up here. And this was, I saw Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts was stitching this and I loved the alphabet and how it's bordered. And this would look really good with the butternut um, pin keep, the butternut, whatever it's called, the other one I'm doing. <laughs> I already forget. How my library cards, these are from Amazon. And I, most all of my projects have them in there. If I missed one, that's because I didn't write it down. <laughs> which I try to be good and write the prod, write the names down. Okay, this has two. So this one, the first one is Token of Love. And that one I've actually started. Oop. And I don't have very much started. But this is on a piece of linen from Michelle Rudy's Patreon. She dyes special linen for Patreon. And this was a piece from there. It is all my own colors inspired by the called for but that's um what this is and then my friend felicia who i was talking about before we are going to stitch this which is moonlight garden together and i again the checkerboard house did it for me i've wanted to stitch this for a long time and when it came out in the book, I'm like, I need to do it. So we got R&R &R Creek Bed Brown. And then this is all the called for colors to start that. So this is for sure going to be a start soon and very soon. This is another that I'd like to get back to, but it's kind of like an everyday piece. So some of the everyday ones I just pulled out to have a variety. So I wasn't just stitching fall or just stitching Halloween or just stitching Christmas. I wanted to have some other pieces. Um, so this is salt, back, salt Box Quilt Sampler from Brenda Gervais. This is on 36 Count Legacy by Picture This Plus, and I have all the called for colors for it. And I started this at the first Brick City retreat I went to. And uh, that's where I bought the chart from as well. This is my next whip, which this is um, Jobina's Little Sampler from From the Heart. Needle Art by Wendy. And this is a piece of fabric from, this is the same color I'm doing at home on, I'm pretty sure. It's from Color and Cotton. I'm using all the called for colors. I think, maybe not. Close to, if they're not. So if this only, this is the end of it, and it stops there. So on the other side of the linen, I haven't started this yet, but I'm going to start Liza Eliza's Little Sampler. And this is another project that I have kind of ongoing is all of these little samplers I would like to do and then hang them all up on a wall somewhere or have them in frames and put them out. Um but I think they're so cute and it'd be a fun thing to have. The next one is a Christmas. This is Mary Old Soul by With I Needle and Thread. I'm not sure the linen on this. I think that it might be gray by Weak Dye Works. Um, not the called for, but similar in color. 
So that wouldn't be a hard thing to get finished. Just a few more. This is Humming of the Bees by Blackbird Designs. Many of you have seen this. And this is mine. This is the call for, let me just double check. Oh, it's called for Velt. This is Heartland by Picture This Plus, but it looked to me like what the picture looked like. I'm using all the called for floss. And this again, the house really did it for me, but I haven't even gotten there. So I'm trying to get there. But it's all about the journey. This was kitted up for me in my Surprise Me box at StitchCon by Susan, Summer at Cherry Hill. And she changed a lot of the reds. There are a few reds still, and you'll be able to see them when I show it. Um, but a lot of the reds are changed. And as I stitch this more, you'll be able to see I did switch the linen to Coral Canyon by um, Color and Cotton. It was, she had kitted it in a blue, and I really wanted more of a tan fabric, which is fine. I'll use the blue for something else. But the floss, I'm using all the floss that she kitted. Some are silk, some are cotton. And this is how far i gotten. And I absolutely love it. So obviously the alphabet is not red, it's blue. The bird is supposed to be tan, it's blue. The berries are still red. Um, I'm pretty sure that the these I think are still red. Her dress is all in blues. This is more of a dark brown versus this um more wood brown. So I just love it and I can't wait to get more of this done. This next one, this was one that I, I started this at StitchCon and this was, I kitted myself with the help of some of the colors we switched to silk Susan helped me at Keepsakes, but this is Manor at Peacock Hill by Brenda Gervais. So I did switch, I believe the red is silk and the whole peacock we converted to silks. I haven't gotten to the peacock yet, but I stitched all of this at StitchCon. And this is a 36 count alabaster by Xju Designs. It's kind of a gray color. So this is another pretty one. Again, as you can tell, I really like Brenda Gervais. And I'm very drawn to her charts. This is a giant one, but I have loved this and have wanted to start it. And I thought, if I don't start it, I will never be able to finish it. So this is Little Birds by Blackbird Designs. It's, like I said, very large. This is using all the called for colors and it's on 36 count Heartland by Picture This Plus. And I started down here in the lower right hand corner. I wanted to get some of the swirls and then move to the border. And then also by starting down here, I can go straight in which is why I started in on some of this gold so I can get to a house so I can be stitching some border and then one of the little houses. So this is for sure a long-term project and I am okay with that, but I absolutely love it. I love all the colors and can't wait to get more of this done. All right, just a few more. The next one, and this one you saw recently, this is one of another large sampler. This is from Hands Across the Sea, Maria Ewan, the Queen of the May from this year. This is 40 Count Alcott by 
needle and flax and I have not gotten any further. I am stitching this with the 103 silks and I have spoke about on my floss tube how I'm starting from the bottom because I know I want to stitch this part and I might stop or I might continue and finish all the way to the top. I haven't decided yet. Then the next one is Jane Hopkins by Hands Across the Sea as well. And this one, as same, I have not done any more, but I did have a center start. I'm using all the called for floss. This is the called for linen. And this is for Sarah, who's stitching with Sarah, handmade by Sarah W. Um, this was her birthday start from this year. So I love this and wanna get to this. And so this one, and then also um, Maria, and the next one I'm gonna show, are all ones that I would like to put in work a little bit of work each month for sure. So these are all pretty big pieces that, I mean, I'm not planning on having them done anytime soon, but I'd like to put in a little work either on, I haven't decided. I think I'm just kind of gonna go with it and see what I can do, but either all three of them put in a little work each month or pick one per month and like, so this month I would work on a certain part of Miss Lucy Calcutt 1826. And then that would kind of be my large sampler piece work focus. And then the next month I'd pick one of the other two, but I haven't decided yet on that. This one is on 40 count overcast by Cedar River Linen. And I started at the top. I am stitching. The border is going to be the blue color. And the house is also going to be the blue. Which is what Sarah did as well. So if you want to see it finished. She finished hers. And it's beautiful. So. And then. This is the last Piece that I have started that I'm working on and this is part of a stitch along that I'm participating in with ca caterpillar cross stitch and I am stitching this for my daughter one of my daughter's rooms and this is a blurred out but they have two sections completed and it's mo every month they release a section so I need to get caught up on this but this is something I'm trying to work on each month um, for one of my daughter's rooms. It's, it's really pretty. And I u I'm using color and cotton for this. Okay, so that is all of the whips that I've started, which I know is a lot. <laughs> but I do have some other things that I want to, I have some things I wanna start still and I haven't quite decided if I'm just starting them when I wanna start or if I'm going to try to have a finish and then I can start something. Um, I don't really know how I'm working it. I do know this is in my Stitch Folk birthday girl bag. I have my birthday start picked out, which is, I have, this was one of my unicorn charts and I found it on the secondary market and I'm not, oh, this might work. I have threads, but I wasn't sure on the fabric. Oops. And I'm thinking this is gonna work. So I kind of did a little bit of my own picking. They're not the, the called for, but similar. Um, but I just, I love this and I think it's the checkerboard looking border but so this is my birthday start 
which my birthday is September 4th. So if you also have this chart and want to start it, I feel like if you have that chart, you've probably already stitched it and it's in your collection, but I could be wrong. So that is for sure, that is my birthday start. Then for um, Lauren, the New Hampshire st stitcher, she's doing a BAP, hashtag BAP, um, to school stitch along, which where you choose a really big sampler or a really big piece you want to start and start it September 1st and this is my piece. Oops, you can't see it very well. I have wanted to stitch this for a while as well and this is my excuse to start it. So I picked out 40 count Heartland because this thing is quite giant. It calls for Oaken. And if I found a piece of oaken that would fit it, I would use oaken, but I found 40 count Heartland, so that's what I have for now. All the called for colors. I might, again, I might take this with me to Brick City and see if there's a different piece of fabric, a 36 count, because the 40 I can do, but a 36 count would make it much easier and since this is such a big piece I'm thinking the 36 count might be a better plan but I need I'd have to have a special piece cut because it you really need a fat half but that's going to give you more so I'd rather Brick City will cut you a piece specific to your stitch so I might take this with me but this is going to be a September 1st start for Lauren's stitch along so I know both of those for sure. Then these are other projects that I want to work on. I don't know. They could trump the whips. We will see, but I'm going to show them to you anyways. So this is Olga's Autumn Stocking by Plum Street Samplers. And I love that. I've seen a lot of people stitch that. And that's been on my list. Trying not to have an avalanche over here. Also, Deck the Coop, Stacy Nash. And this is, it's not that big. So this would be kind of a small Christmas piece. So some of these that are more seasonal, I will keep in this separate bag. And then as the season comes, I might choose from that. This is, this came with the Coming to America. This is Celebrate Harvest. And this is actually, this is on Brenda Gervais' website. And I have this kitted. I just pulled threads that I thought matched with some linen. So I have that all ready to go. This was one, I forget where I even saw this to begin with. This, I got off of Brenda Gervais' website. It's called Witch Hazel Sampler. It's so cute. I really want to do that. I have the called for everything for that. So that's kitted up. This is another uh, one of the small samplers. My friend Heather, she stitched this and it's so pretty. Also Kim, the contented, contented needle worker Kim did. Again, so pretty. Susan's little sampler. So I have that ready to go. I probably will maybe start that if I get one of the other little samplers done, just to have the little samplers going. This is from Scattered Seed Samplers. Tammy Black, and that's so pretty. I love this tree in the middle. So I have that kitted as a possibility. This I will do for sure. I probably will start it closer to Christmas. This is a kit, so it can't, not Christmas, Halloween. This came with everything, and I actually bought it from Welcome Stitchery. Oh, it's called Be Frightful, but it's by Shepherd's Bush, and it came, that's not the kit. That's all the stuff from Welcome Stitchery. But it came 
with all the things. So all the floss, the fabric. So all I need to do is pull it out and it's ready to go. But I thought that was so cute. This is coming to America. I for sure want to, I will not get this done, but I do want to get this started. This is also a contender for, I am going to start the Merrily Merrily, but this I'll probably start prior to September because I just love it. But this large sampler, which I don't know if there's a better picture. Ah, I'm showing the charts. Um, I guess I don't want to really bend it, but this is the sampler blues and I've had this book for a while and haven't gotten it going so I have all the called for to stitch this on 36 count um, overcast by Cedar River and this is again this is a really big piece but I the blues and beiges are right up my color scheme and my blue keeper from Tiger Lily Designs and I have a couple more. This one, I think I'm going to start soon. Stacy Nash. This was the um, Country Sampler exclusive bag. She has a lot of these bags out. But I really want to just get one done so I can make it. And then put it, this is what it looks like, and put my hoops in there. So I just have to do it. But it came with all the linen and the floss. They had some extra kits for sale. So... I want to start this. This is one. This is another. I have a lot of fall. So I, I'm not going to start these unless I really don't want to stitch anything else at the time. And then I might have a new start. But this is Autumn's Fruitful Labor. I have all the called for floss. And then I pulled out this piece of Millstone by... Um, LFA linens. I thought that would be really pretty. So again, I have a lot, all the pretty whips I showed you, but these are just some that if the, if I get called, I might be working on one of these. And then this one I kitted, I want to do this for one of my kids or put all the, their initials in it, but I just think it's so cute. Smallest Thing Sampler by Heart and Hand. I have all the called for floss and linen. So I would like to work on that. And, oh, one more. This I just recently got off of um, a stash and load group. And I thought this would be fun to do. Maybe for sampler September, but it's this is the chart. It's by GGR, and it's all the stuff is in here, all the floss, the linen, and this is the chart. Now I know my ABCs. I thought this might be fun to start, like when I start school. Um, it's just a marking sampler, easy, but it comes with all of the things. So there's linen and everything. So that's in the, in the bag to potentially start if I'm feeling a new start. So that was the other thing is I tried to pull things that I wanted to potentially start. So I wasn't digging around. Not that I haven't been digging around in all my stuff, nor am I stopping myself, but I thought this would break it down to be a little bit more manageable. All right, so that is what I have for you. That is my whip parade of all of the things that I potentially would like to work on from now until the end of the year. And I am in no way saying they will all be complete because that is not going to happen. <laughs> but these are some of the pieces that I have that are whips that I love. And I would love to put more stitches in, in on them. And I hope you enjoyed the whip parade and all of the fun things. And I look forward to visiting with you 
um, next week to show you what I've been working on and where I've gotten on some of these beautiful pieces. So until then, I will talk to you later. Bye.